Jackie Moon. Jack, get a get a pumpkin. What? You get a pumpkin for this, for today. Oh. Okay. Like this? Yeah, but my floor. All right. Anyway, let's start. Hello, I'm George Washington Carver. And I'm Jack. Jack O' Lantern. Jack O' Lantern. Jack o yeah. Right. And today we're showing you how to make a pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern. Okay, now, the first rule of pumpkin carving, kids, is you do not want to play around with the knives. With that being said, let's get started. You want to Yeah, let's, I can get mine off before you. Oh, look who wins again. And it looks like we're on our way to the best pumpkins of the year. So the first thing you want to do with your pumpkin is go ahead and get all the guts out. And some people even like to make small talk while they do it. Say Jack, pumpkins are a lot like women. The good ones are either taken or they've had everything scraped out of their heads. You know Joe, it's uh, true what they say, anybody can be a great pumpkin carver, all you have to do is believe in yourself. So true. I actually knew a 40-year-old deaf man with Parkinson's, and he was the greatest carver in Colorado. You've told me that story before, Jack, but I'll tell you, it really never gets old. What, uh, what approach are you taking on yours this year? Going for scary. Well, Jack brings up a good point. You want to make your pumpkin something scary, but not too scary. Last year, Jack's was so scary, made a bunch of six-year-old girls pee in their pants. <laughs> I wish. Weird thing to say. So Jack, Dude, Phil, Carver, shut up. what do you get when you divide the circumference of a pumpkin by its diameter? What? Pumpkin pie. <laughs> yeah, I looked that up on um, Ask Jeeves jokes. Freaking hilarious. What are you doing? Don't disturb an artist, Joe. Well. Pumpkin carving is actually like a lot like gingerbread houses for Christmas, if you think about it, Jack. Don't you ever compare pumpkin carving to gingerbread houses ever again. Okay. As you can see, we take the business seriously. And finally, if you followed our instructions exactly, in four to five hours, you could have a pumpkin that looks just like ours. Mine is a three-eyed ghoul, that's why it's got three square eyes, and if I just pour this water in, it looks like he's drooling. And that's fine, that's fine, it's all part of Halloween. Mine is one of those drunk LSU frat guys. You see the puke coming out of his mouth? Mm -hmm. That classic, way, classic college. Girls see that outside, they'll scurry to the door. Now once you finish carving, that's when the real fun begins. Yeah, I heard that, dude. No, I meant put them on the porch. What? That's fine. <laughs>